My name is Charlie Haffey. I'm a Samaritan's volunteer, and this video is for my fellow volunteers. We're in the uh, home stretch here. We found a really good way to input the last pieces of data. It's called Kim's procedure. Uh, this is probably the easiest, most straightforward way to go. So I have in front of me a copy of the GSS Service Area 1.0, and you know that if you can, you want to scroll up and down or left and right. Uh, you can find your way around. I froze the top row in the first column. That seems to work out really well. So here I have Rocco Salvatore and Son's funeral home. And you'll notice that it's missing all the information from funeral director over to the right. So let me show you the probably the most common way to get around this, uh, finding the information, and maybe a couple of tricks. So first thing I want to do, I go to Rocco Salvatore, and then I'm going to highlight all the way out to the zip code, all right? I'm gonna copy that to my clipboard. And I'm going to open up a new tab up here and then just paste uh, that information in here and hit return. And typically, we're gonna get uh, a variety of returns, but over here, typically, uh, we find that there is a screenshot of the funeral home and then there is a link for the website a really good thing to do here, uh, for me, I just always feel worried about this, 331 Main Street, last four digits, 4180. And up here, we got 331 Main Street, and it's 4180. So I know I have the correct place. Sometimes the names change, but now I'm good here. So I come down to this link, click on website, and now I'm in the Salvatore Rocco and Sons Funeral Home. The first thing I do, uh, you can do it any way you want, is I look for grief resources or links to charitable donations. And uh, usually there is a tab or a link for resources. It comes under different names. I've been here before just to get ready for this video. So if I click on helpful links, um, Social Security Online, Boston Globe, the only real grief resource here is this Good Grief program from the Boston Medical Center. And I don't think it's really what we're looking for, but it is a grief resource. So I'm going to come back, and I am now going to come up here to the URL. I'm going to highlight that whole thing. I'm going to paste it to my clipboard. I'll go back to the GSS service area. I'm going to come over here under website, click on this cell, and I know it's for Rocco because I can follow that blue line across, and I'm going to paste it in. Now, it's a huge URL, don't worry about that. It's gonna hide, the other columns are gonna hide it. It won't get in the way. And I'm gonna come over here and say that they do have grief resources. Um, we've been indicating uh, if there is a minimal amount of grief resources here for the people who use this, they'll look at that and maybe pay attention to that. So I've gotten my first piece of business here. Now I need to find the funeral director's name uh, his title, and that basically is if uh, it's an owner and a director or a funeral director alone and an email. Uh, let me scroll back down here. I just, uh, with my big fingers, did that. So now I need to find the funeral director and uh, emails if I can grab it. Okay, go back here. And usually there is an About Us link. Click on that. And sometimes there are other links here, like, you know, about our facility, um, our staff, and it just so happens that down here, uh, they have our staff on this one page. And thank goodness, they actually have the names and the information I need. So um, this funeral home is currently co-owned by Richard and Stephen, and they are both licensed funeral directors. This is really easy for me this time, sometimes not so much. So I got Richard S. Rocco Jr., and Stephen R. Rocco. So I'm going to come back here and I'm going to put in Stephen's information. Just give me a minute to type it in. All right, I spared you my 14 words a minute. So I have Richard S. Rocco right here. And for title, um, it would be helpful if we all did this the same way. And you'll notice that down here for uh, Smith Malali, Malahi, uh, is, I have it listed as owner and owner and funeral director. 
So the reason that this might be uh, important, it's going to autocomplete for me, is that later on, if we list these or sort, then all the owners and owner and funeral directors will come out in the same group. All right? um, if you mis make, make a mistake here, don't worry about it. I'm going to proof check this later on. And now we need an email. So let's come back here and, oh, no, let's do this. So um, about us, helpful links, uh, contact us. Now contact us usually is where if you don't find the email right next to the person's name, uh, I come here to contact us and lo and behold, they actually have a, uh, an email address for me. So I'm just going to copy that to my pasteboard. Paste it into here. Don't worry if it shows up in a different color. I'm going to come back later on and, and fix all these little uh, editing things. If you want to, just for your own information, if you click on one of the emails that's done correctly, formatted with the right color and so, click on it, go up to your menu bar, toolbar, and go to Format Painter. And now the format for that funeral uh, email address is copied. And when I paste it here, I still have the Rocco Funeral Home um, email, but now it's formatted the way I like it. So now we have Richard S. Rocco Jr. and all of his good information. The key here is, and it doesn't happen very often, but it happens often enough, is if I go back to the About Us page, now I, I want to put in Stephen are Rocco and the powers that be that are going to use this. Maybe they all need to have both names. So Stephen R. Rocco, I come back here to the GSS service area and I'm going to click on the Rocco Salvatore and Sons Funeral Home. What I want to do is add another row right below this. So clicked on the number of the row, highlight the whole row, right click on that and insert one below. There we go. This is good. Rocco, Main Street, Everett, Mass, all the way to the phone number. All right. I'm going to copy this and come down here, and I'm going to paste special values only. If you just copied it down, it would add a digit to the address and the phone number. Um, it just, that's what it does. All right. And you can get around that, but this, I think, is the simplest way. So now... Let me put in uh, the second bit of information for the second funeral director. So now I have Richard S. Rocco Jr. and Stephen R. Rocco, both listed for the Rocco Salvatore and Sons Funeral Home. I want to bring all that information that I have next to Richard's name down to the next row. And because there are no number values, I can just copy this to my clipboard, come down here, and paste it. And all the information that I had for Richard, I now have for Stephen. And now we have two entries for the Rocco Salvatore and Sons Funeral Home. If you have any problems at all, give me a call. Um, if you get stumped on something, let it go. Um, I'm constantly going back and finding errors that I made, blanks, and fixing them. So uh, do your best, take your time, don't, you know, get uh, all fretful about this. We've got people working on it. It's going to get done. Thank you very much for your time.